In the beginning of Parshas Kisavo, the Torah talks about the procedure for a farmer who is bringing Bikurim. Now, Bikurim are the first fruits that are brought by a farmer. It's not just any fruit. It's only the fruit of the Shiva, meaning of the seven species that the land of Israel is praised for. And he brings this to the Kohen in a basket. The Kohen lifts it up together with him and waves it. And then the farmer starts going through liturgy that he is to say. And the words describing how he is supposed to say it, it says as follows, Ve'anisa ve'amarta. And it seems that the word ve'anisa is really not necessary. Ve'anisa sort of means to answer. Ve'amarta is to say. So it's just say ve'amarta. Why does it say ve'anisa ve'amarta? So Chazal tell us it's a language of haramas kol, of lifting up one's voice, of saying this in a strong voice. In other words, when the farmer is praising Hashem, when he is thanking Hashem for having given him all of these fruits, he's to do so in a loud way, not simply softly, quietly. So the Beis Yisrael Zatzal explains that this is really a lesson for us in our own interpersonal relationships. He says that too often it comes that when a person wants something from someone else, they become very passionate and they become loud and one could see that the person desires the object so badly by the way in which the person presents themselves when asking for it. And certainly that's true when it comes to us in HaKadosh Baruch Hu. When we're davening for Parnassah or we're davening that a person should be well or we're davening for family members, we do so when we cry out to Hashem, we almost scream, if not figuratively, then literally. So the Beis Yisrael says that this idea of the farmer speak in a loud way when he's merely recognizing the good that Hashem has performed for him is a lesson to us that just as we cry out when we really want something, just as we are passionate when it comes to our prayer when we really want something, we should also be just as passionate when it comes to thanking someone for something, when it comes to recognizing the good that someone has done for us whether that means a spouse, a family member, or even a stranger. It means to come across with a sense of sincerity and authenticity when we thank someone, just as we would when we want something from someone. And of course, that relates to how we daven during this month of Elul, how in a few weeks the Yomim Noraim will be upon us, how we stand and we cry for Hashem as we ask Hashem not only to forgiveness, but we ask Hashem to remember us Latov, we ask Hashem to remember us for good. We also have to recognize that it's important for us to be able to cry out in happiness and joy. As after all, the Pasuk says in this very piece, very portion, that we have to have simcha, we have to have joy with all of the good that's been given to us. Just like we request, we ask, we beseech Hashem for that which we don't have or we're not assured of, so too we need to have the same passion when we cry out and thank Hashem for all that which we have already. May we recognize uh, this really important midah and may we learn to practice it, not only with our relationship with Hashem in this month of Elul, but also in our interpersonal relationships with each other. Thank you for listening, and have a good Shabbos.